if you're doing a job, everybody looks forward to getting paid, right? Well, what if you were injured while doing a job and now looking at workers' compensation? You want to know when you're going to get paid as well, right? Well, let's go ahead, check in with Catherine Stone from Injury Florida Law Firm to break this down. More timelines we're talking about today, aren't we? It's always about timelines. You know, <laughs> remember that you've got to report that accident within 30 days um, of the incident, or, or you could be barred based on a notice defense. But oftentimes, the, the newer clients that have just recently had an accident within that first 30 days and they've timely reported it and maybe they've already seen a workers compensation doctor or they've gone to the emergency room they know the carrier is picking it up the claim their first question they want to know is well when am i going to get paid because your employer is under no obligation to continue to pay you if you have restrictions that keep you from returning to work um, and so there is a waiting period and that's oftentimes very disconcerting for a lot of people they have bills to pay they're used to getting their you know, their, their paycheck on time. There's actually a seven day waiting period um, or you do not get paid for the first seven days um, under workers' compensation unless you can prove that you have a disability for at least 21 days. If you prove that you have a disability for at least 21 days, they then will go back and pay that first seven days. So for someone who maybe has a, a lesser extensive type of accident that doesn't require um, restrictions that limit that person from returning to work, then they're not entitled to, to compensation for that first seven days under the workers' compensation system. And that's that's a pretty hard pill to swallow for a lot of people. Absolutely, because if you are looking at your salary, you know, per hour, even a per day basis, seven days can really add up, especially if bills are adding up when it deals with the injury or things of that nature. Yeah. And so the only thing that we can sometimes do is request what's called a $2,000 advance. Um, and then the carrier, if they approve it and you qualify for it, there is a specific way in which you have to qualify for that. If you qualify for it and the carrier approves it, then they will reduce future indemnity checks, which would be checks from workers' compensation by 20% to recoup that $2,000. So there is some wiggle room in there that we can try to work towards getting you some money during that waiting period um, and, and that time period that may you may not get paid. Um, but again, there's no guarantee. And again, you've got to have restrictions from the doctor. You've got to show financial need in order to get a $2,000 advance as part of that. You know, we only have about a minute left, Catherine, but I'm curious. I always feel better sometimes knowing the why that's behind things. Do you have any idea why there is this seven day or what you're able to tell your clients about this period? Well, I think the seven day is, you know, sometimes people cut their finger or maybe they have a very minor incident. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I haven't actually looked up the legislative intent as to why the this the legislature decided to not pay for that first seven days. It's not a common it thing with regards to people not getting paid. Um, most people do go past that 21 day period. Now, at day eight, if you still have restrictions, they're going to go ahead and pay from day, you know, eight to 21. But it's just they go back in retrospect to pay that mm -hmm. seven days. And that's kind mm -hmm. of where that $2,000 advance comes in to yeah. kind of help keep you up on your bills without getting too far behind on your bills. It's good to hear that that's there if you get approved for it, like you said. Right. But as we know, there is a lot of tape to go through. There's a lot of deadlines. This is only one that we've been able to tackle today. So if you are looking at workers' compensation and want somebody on your side, Catherine Stone and her team, well, they're the ones you should give a call to. Injury Florida Law Firm, as always. Happy holidays, Catherine. And we Thank hope to see you again soon, okay?